back and we have just finished beating the reaper or the cyclops or whatever the heck you want to call that thing anyway we are now going to explore more apparently we're going to be going into the closet exploring more with our new purple shooty disky thingy that we got on our hand going into the closet well it says electrical closet although this is the biggest closet i've ever seen oh and if you take a picture of a map you will miraculously get the entire layout of the entire complex and oh wow I got a lot more to go I guess that's photographic memory haha <laughs> good one alright we need to transfer this electricity and use the fan as a conductor to the other side where the door is and with their nice little disc throwy thingy on our hands we we'll, we can do just that Oh, and here's the first of several keys we will get in this game, and this is the triangle key. Dun 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 dun! Psych! Oh no! We get to fight one of these little crazy robots. <laughs> Another good one. And I think that's okay. Well, the trick here, I think, is. Page is your is your your big uh, advantage here because when he bounces, they they're pretty much immobile. And uh, oh, if I recall correctly, there was actually a triangle door back in the pedestrian dr district. Uh, we're not going there right now, but let's keep that in mind. Might bring us somewhere interesting. I think those little robots that you just finished or whatever. Oh my gosh, it's a party! Well, they did. Well, you can hear it now. It's, they got a whole bunch of little weird sounds going in the song. I think it's. Oops, sorry, Paige, get out of my way. Uh. <laughs> well, he's in my way. I gotta hit these things. Oh, oh ow. Never get through a fight without at least getting hit once. Donkeys. Alright, now what do we do with the last guy? Because we hit everybody else into each other. This last guy, well that looks pretty promising over there. Hey, well that worked. And over there is a PA1, which increases our heart by hearts by one, and well, we're just that's just not for us. Mm, poor robot. Alright, we have a limited time to grab these fuses, or we'll get our hand shocked. Which is why I'm going to be nice. running around this little fuse box thing and grabbing both. Whoa! <laughs> Jay would have got her hand shocked if I waited just a split second longer. And these wires are dead. As opposed to? Live wires. Why are they fun? Never mind. Oh, you're referring to something totally different. Oh yes. my goodness. Yeah. Alright, we need to get power to this elevator. So, yes, we need to snap that. Elevator. Oh, wait, that's not a song. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, we need to snap that wire and use the force, uh, f uh, the energy from that field. To generate power to the elevator. Okay. Like full engineering at its finest. We'll Alright. Let's see. Push button. Oh, well, that looks terrible. Something must have happened here. By all intents and purposes, my dear Watson, this is elementary. It must have been the Reaper. I'll be a monkey's Even uncle. Oh, who else is doing puns? Bad. Nice, Jade. Uh, Paige. <laughs> ah, that'll fix anything. Just bang on it. Oh, we don't need that screw. No, we don't need those. We don't need those bolts and nuts. 
That's a gadget from uh, Rusty Rangers. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what this went to. Oh, well, that would explain it. I've got one. Pretty much. Good work. This is a really good technician. Might be order again. Well, as Paige will say, as he will probably comment on it, he'll just say, well, it's a real patch job, and it probably is, because half the stuff that he just threw out probably was needed for a full functional elevator. Probably. Only Paige knows what he did with that elevator. <laughs> So it's one time use only. And with this, we are now done. I, I want to call this a dungeon, but I know it's not. But let's just refer to it as it is. Uh, th we're done with the first floor of the dungeon with the uh, with this elevator. And uh, we're going on to the next. I consider pretty much everything up to this point of the elevator is the first floor, even though it actually encompasses three floors. But I'll just call it as just one. Like the first area, and then the second area, separated by the elevator. Upper hall. Well, that's descriptive. Who oh, knows? Well, I guess it was one time use sooner than we thought. Doesn't look very good. Oh, Jade? Uh, way, I know this ain't the right time. Here. I know we're about to die, and the elevator's about to fall to our, and we plummet to our Better deaths, but hey! I thought I'd give this to you right now. Seemed like a good time. Uh, yeah, probably. Sorry. But with everything going on lately... Alright. Oh, one last little buddy puzzle here. Okay. Can't figure this out within a couple seconds, then something's wrong with you. <laughs> oh, no! Yep. Oh, oh my goodness. We want glowing eyes, but the price is a little bit high. Oh, what the? Ah. Death number five, dear. Yes. Aw, I'm sorry. I'm already halfway done with my death count. I'm not even halfway done with the Let game. <sighs> Let's do this again. And that pit, that pity party is not helping. <laughs> uh not very sincere, but I've been married to you for over six years. I think I know by now. <laughs> well, I would love to have blue glowy eyes, but the price is a little high with these guys, so I'd rather not. But I'll take a picture. It's best to bring it down to just one enemy and have them be distracted by Paige, and you get an easy shot. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Not too bad, yeah, sir. Without you, yeah. I'd be smoked ham by now. Huh. All right, now we get into the first photo opportunity we had since oh, Double H. But first, we're actually gonna take a little detour, if I recall correctly. Detour, sweet boy. All right. This is the little detour I was talking about. Oh, we scared it away. But we can walk away a distance and then come back and it'll come back. Oh, there's another map just in case you forgot to take a picture of the first one. Okay, we gotta sneak up real quiet. Real quiet. I have no idea why I'm whispering. Because you're a nut. Alright, and that looks like a Rattus Albus! Perfect. Which is worth I'll apparently a 550 more than the normal rat. So it's a good, it's a good picture. <laughs> okay, they kind of pulled a dirty trick on you. When you open your camera, you're facing the opposite way of where you really should be facing to take a the proper picture. So you want to wait for one of those crates to enter underneath, and we get to see what's going on. What is this? Oh my goodness, a human skeleton! Conspiracy! Human traffic! Now you know if they actually did. Do this type of stuff before human trafficking would be able to be in jail. How do you how do you figure? Because all the people that were doing the human trafficking would be in jail. Go away! Oh, okay. Let's go on the page. Oh no! They're hitting him! 
Stop! I remember when I first played this game, this actually came as a shock, this whole part. Because, uh, you really didn't see it coming. I mean, it, all of a sudden, you've, you've lost your buddy. You lost your, you lost your best friend. I was like, oh no. Yeah, your uncle. <laughs> yeah, I get that, monkey's uncle. Uh, but, uh, I was thinking, well, maybe I'll get him later on in the dungeon, right? You know, I'll pick him up before I face the boss. Right? Right? No. That's actually the last you'll see of Paige for, um... For now? Yes, for now. Uh, we'll leave it at that. And, uh... Hi, Paige! I yeah. will miss you! Well, maybe I will. <laughs> but it makes room for Double H, and Double H will become your new partner. Right? Not right away, though, but they're making room. So for right now, Jade is on her own. Jade seems like she likes being alone. I mean, there's too many irritating people. <laughs> Alright, so, no time like the present. We're going to put this uh, disc in for Jade. Let's see here. Let's see what's on it. Jade, you inherited generosity well, and that was expected. Yeah, Paige parents. and her parents were close friends. You know, yep, yep. 20 years ago, we were forced major problems with the authorities. We were, were we criminals? Major Bandits? What were we? Your parents put you under my... No we, came <gasps> we came to Hilly. Back wait, wait. We came to Hilly's? <gasps> We're aliens! But the oh my goodness, you. I'm an alien! For those of you who are gamers and following us, trust me, my husband is. I have blue, blue tinted skin. It still exists. <laughs> <laughs> and if you believe that, well... <laughs> yes, it's called a sense of humor. It's something very wrong with me. <laughs> Alright, so we have uh, codes we need to enter, but we don't know where they are. I mean, how are we going to get these codes? But there's this picture at the end of the M disc of his jet boots. Huh. Interesting. Well, you find everything interesting. Well, for that, I mean, it's just really interesting. Why would he do that? So, I will leave it there. I won't say any more. But we'll come back to that a little later. Please. And now we've entered into the first of many uh, stealth parts of the game. And these are actually some of the funnest parts, in my opinion. Because it's just a, it just breaks the gameplay up so well. I mean, you, you get between uh, puzzle solving, very rarely some action fighting, and then there's stealth mixed in there as well. And I think that's what made this game so po uh, so popular and had a cult following was because of just the wide variety of, of gameplay styles it encompassed. And it just flowed through each each game style so effortlessly at least in my mind it did i mean one moment you're just zooming around on your cruiser you know fl you know traveling the waters doing some racing and then the next moment you're just snooping around and sneaking around guards on a high security facility and all within a span of a minutes of each other and you're like what crazy <clears throat> Anyway, I'm going to approach this a little more, shall we say, aggressive than what I would say a first-time player would do. So, I'm going to use my little disc thingy. And I'm going to attack their little green canisters. I'm going to stay hidden. The other dude's going to be like, whoa, dude, you are right. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, what the? I can't see. And you kick them and they float up. And we laugh maniacally. <laughs> oh, that was fun. On to the next. Oh, it's fun. You get to smack these guys. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. And... Oh, his buddy didn't go to help him. And I'm... Okay, I gotta go. Gotta go. Run, 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 run. Okay. Now, you think you're safe, but you actually gotta get out of the range of these openings here. Because of that. Lasers of death. <laughs> that will hurt you bad, if not kill you. So, uh, I 
don't know how long I have to wait. Uh, oh, back up. Apparently long enough to let those hey, you do their right? job. Apparently. Okay, now we go now he's going to help his buddy. After the Oh crap, I gotta wait some longer. Okay, sorry everybody, this is kind of annoying. So, my suggestion wait longer than you think you have to. Until they get back to the original positions. Patience. Patience. Something I know my wife will tell you I have very little of. Because I'm going now and checking. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this a little differently now. I know that his buddy is not going to help him. So, okay, there he is. I want a good st Okay. Wait. I want a good look at his back before I hit his buddy. Because he's going to stop in place. There you go. Boom. Done. <coughs> Smack. I don't think they're robots. Okay, I don't exactly remember how many are in this next section. So let's see. Oh, there's a guard coming up. I okay. I'm gonna go back. I don't know how far he goes up. That's it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go check. See, I think there might be more, more than one of them. Oh, nobody. Well, that was an easy one. What was the point of that? I thought... Oh, well. Don't know what I was thinking. Oh, Double H. So we're out of the... We're out of that section. Okay. He is trapped by the flames. Oh. If I had less health, I... Could have used a Starkos and ruined my run. Oh, okay, okay, looks like we're timed. I gotta hit them all in sequence. I can't just hit one, move right along, and then hit the other. I have to do it one after another. Okay, looks like we're coming up on our time here, so uh, we'll see you later.